Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Superfly Gray and Partridge. The hook that I have in a vise is, this is a large hook, this is a size 10. And what we're going to do is start out by, this is a, a soft hackle fly, but we're going to put a little bit of uh, 15 thousandths lead free wire on there just to help it get through the water so it doesn't float and just 10 or 12 wraps you could use 10 thousandths depending on you know the different sizes of uh, weight you put on there we'll fish it deeper or shallower in the water column. Now for our rib and tag we're going to use the Superfly glitter thread. And here it is here. And we're going to put this on first. And we're going to hold the lead wraps in place with that just enough to hold it in and bring it back slightly break that off and just put this one on the side now our thread I'm just going to use a 70 denier uh, dark olive dark thread is fine any black is fine dark brown is fine and we're going to bring that thread back to the rear now for the dubbing I'm going to use beaver and I got the beaver piece and cut it real close to the skin and I put it in the uh, coffee coffee grinder fantastic whoever discovered that what a what a dream that is putting stuff in the coffee grinder it turns a small little patch of uh, maybe a little patch of fur maybe like that into something the size of your fist just by putting it in the coffee grinder basically aerates it we're going to take this beaver and we're going to bring it up I'm gonna to have to put some more on there and then I'm going to extend my thread just because I'm going to rotate and every time I rotate it's going to wrap my thread so instead of working my this bobbin around my thread bobbin, I'm just going to rotate my vise. I'm going to make a little tag on there. Yeah, maybe four or five wraps out. And then palmer that forward. And when we get to the front, we're going to build up some right there. Just so we could kind of have a little bit of more color or a tag in the front there and then I'm going to secure that and then we'll go ahead and trim that off and then here depending on if you want a scruffy body or not you can, you can actually get your uh, dubbing teaser and scruff it up if you want it more now for the hackle I'm going to use a Hungarian partridge and I'm going to take that partridge and first thing I'm going to do is take the fluff off the bottom and be be very careful when you're doing this because these stems above the fluff the stem is very very thin and you can break them easily 
So just be careful pulling that fluff off to start with. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of that. Now I'm going to hold the uh, feather to the shank with the curved, the concave side to the shank. And then I'm going to remove the, the uh, hackle barbels that are on top there. You can go ahead and take a pair of hackle pliers and grab the tip of it. And then you can stand them up. Now if you want a really heavy hackle, you don't have to remove the tips or the top section. But I think it's much better having half of the hackle removed. And again on this, when you're peeling those hackles off, again be very careful. Because you can break it very easily. Like for instance right here you see that pigtail that's part of the stem that I pulled so that's getting it's gonna work still but that's what I mean you can break that very easily I'm gonna tie this in by the tip spin my thread counterclockwise and that first wrap the thread will go towards the rear if you spin it clockwise, that first wrap, the thread wants to jump to the front. Let's put a couple of wraps in there. And then we could go ahead and remove that tip. Yeah, I got one more there. I'm going to take my delicate hackle pliers again. I'm going to put that on there. And these hackle pliers are nice because it has this hinge in it. And the hackle won't twist on you when you're wrapping it. It will stay right in position. You can see how the hackles are going toward the, towards the rear. Because I took the top section off. If I took the bottom off and, and did this, the hackles would be pointing forward. And there we are. Now I'm going to secure it. Sometimes they, they appear to clump up. The barbels appear to clump up. But they're not. All you got to do is just kind of touch them there and they'll, they'll go into the position they're supposed to. Because the each individual barbel actually has like barbs on it that holds it to the previous one. And that's why you get the feather nice in the way it is. Going to bend that back, put a couple of wraps in front and on top of it. Now I could go ahead and remove that stem. Oh, and you can see there's that little pigtail. And then I'm going to clean up the head. Take the whip finish tug that tight take the poke and snip cuticle trimmer poke and snip take your head cement go ahead and Put a little bit of head cement on the threads. And here we have the Superfly Gray and Partridge. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. 
Please visit my sponsors. Let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the fly man gym. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.